Alright guys, what's up? Uh, this will be an unboxing video of something from Barnes & Noble. So, uh, I probably already Twittered this. I was asking you guys for your opinion. Made my decision and I actually ordered this on Monday. The Barnes & Noble's Nook. It only recently came into stock uh, this week. Uh, before, during the holidays, they are completely out. But luckily, we were able to get one. So I opened the box and took out the order form because I have some personal information. But let's see, on the top here... Instructions on how to unpack your nook. For some reason, you actually need instructions. Okay. Put this to the side. Here's the phone. And here's the nook itself. So let's get this out. Now, before I get started on opening, I'm going to explain to you what the nook is and why I chose it. Um, the nook is an ebook reader, similar to the Kindle and Sony readers. Uh, there's a couple of reasons why I chose the nook over the Kindle or the Sony readers. Um, I'm not really getting to them before I open this, but. Um, I made my decision. It was a tough decision to make between the Kindle and the Nook, but the Nook is made by Barnes and Nobles. Pretty much all the eBooks are the same. I just wanted to try out the touch screen on the bottom, and also runs Android well. I, I believe the Kindle does not. So on to opening it. So the Nook is wrapped in this plastic, and it's attached to this piece of cardboard, very similar to the way that Barnes and Nobles uh, sends their books when you order from them. Because I've ordered them, ordered from them a multitude of times. So let's open this plastic wrap up. Bring it around. Plastic wrap up. Oh, and it's covered in another layer of plastic wrap. So, let's put this out first. And overall, very nice packaging. Very uh, simplistic, kind of reminiscent of app of Apple's packaging. I know everyone says that about every piece of packaging, but you have this clear plastic all around this cover. So, how do we get this open? And the Nook has um, two gigs of built-in memory, and you can also add in an SD card, a micro SD card, to add more books. But you can order, read books, magazines. Um, and it's using AT&T's 3G network. Um, you don't have to pay every month like you would have to on an iPad, which is one of the reasons why I chose it over the iPad, actually. But I might do a video about this later. But all right, so I have to take off this cover. It comes off. Wow, very nice packaging. Actually, if you look inside here, there's actually it's colorful strips inside. But anyway, here's the Nook itself. Here's the titles on the bottom. It's a color touch screen. It's running Android. Um, the e-ink screen is actually on right now, you guys can see. It's not using too much electricity, so it's actually not a vinyl sticker. It's actually the screen itself. Um, on the back here, the end nook, and it says Barnes & Noble. So following the instructions here, there should be a specific way of opening this. Remove the plastic shrink wrap that encloses the entire package. Slide off the paper sleeve. Did that. And then there's a pull tab here, so I'm peeling off this tape that wraps around the whole enclosure of this plastic thing. Sticky. Ah. All right. How do I do this afterwards? And then, what does it say after this? Lift up plastic top case. Oh, okay, there we go. Am I opening this right? I don't know how I'm trying to open this. Okay. Pull off top case, and there we have it. Top case is off. You have a little box here with probably the goodies, and then the nook itself. So, box of goodies. I'm gonna move this aside. Then here is the Nook. It's kind of like in this plastic insert, similar to where the, how the iPods come now in this plastic thing. So, how do I get this out? All right, I'll do that later for a minute. Let's see what's in here first. Slides out. It says, "Welcome to your Nook." This is very, very, very similar to Apple's packaging. It's even little plastic sleeves. So, "Welcome to your Nook." Let's get started. It has this little instruction guide about fully charging your Nook and stuff. And then in here we also have a mini USB charger. Very small. It says Nook on the side. And I believe a micro SD, I mean a micro USB cable right here. Very cute packaging, I must say. Alright, let's get this thing out. I knew I, had, I would have problems getting that. Alright, there we go. There's like these little whole things and here it is itself. Wow. It's really nice. Oh, it's this pull right here, too. So let's take this cover off, too. Here's the touch screen on the bottom and then the uh, eating screen. So let's get this thing on. So I held on the power button. I'm not sure if this is to turn on or not. But let's see. It told me to fully charge it first, but I want to show you guys if it will turn on. There we go. Nook by Barnes & Noble. Your device is starting up. That screen is beautiful. It's exactly like paper. And it's exactly what eating's supposed to do. It looks exactly like paper, so there's no strain on your eyes when you read it. And on the bottom is a color touch screen, so you can use it for really easy navigation. You actually can do a little color flow thing 
with all the different titles. And you can actually scroll through these. Through these. There was also a brand new update that was just released, I think, last week. I think it was 2.0 or something, where it improved the uh, overall speed and stuff because it was a little bit laggy and such. But looking around the whole device, the back is very nice rubberized plastic, the little N symbol on the back. On top, you have these two locking mechanisms. I think they're for the casing when you put them in a case. Your power button and sleep button here. On the front, you have your e-ink screen, your uh, home button, which is a little N, similar to the logo. Touch screen, and then your two pages buttons here for lefties and righties. And on the bottom, you have audio jack. You have a micro USB and another locking port thing. So let's see if this thing will start up. Thank, there we go. Welcome to your Barnes & Noble's ebook reader. Experience everything you love about reading in a new way. Load all the books you've ever wanted to read on your junior nook, along with your favorite magazines, newspapers, and audio files. Nook tip. Use the touch screen to get started. If it dims, tap it or the look, tap it. Uh, or the Nook logo below, or press the power button on top of your Nook. So let's press it. Tips are getting started. So that's pretty much it, guys. I'll get this started. I'll definitely be making some videos. If you have any questions, send me a message over on to uh, leave a comment or send me a message or email me, themacintosh1 at gmail.com. That's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching.